a Peterman does not, I repeat, let me repeat it for you. A Peterman does not make you gain weight. Listen to me carefully. What makes you gain weight is you eating. What a Peterman does is it's a supplement that will slow down your metabolism and it will make you hungry. A Peterman makes you hungry. People think, oh, I'm gonna take this supplement and I'm gonna be thick in two weeks. No, you're going to be hungry. Uh, let me show you what the bottle looks like. So it's a little messy because I think it spilled a little bit. This is... This is my fourth bottle. I stopped taking it after like after my third bottle because I gained like 10 pounds per bottle. I'm not, I'm not even going to hold you. Like I gained 30 pounds. But it comes with a little cup. And what you do is it's either 5 millimeters, 10, or 15. You're supposed to take 10 um like the sizing is like 10 milliliter i think um three times a day so breakfast lunch and dinner is usually what you're supposed to do with it i don't eat breakfast i usually don't eat until like 11 12 o'clock so i was only taking it twice a day my first time i took it i took 15 my first two days and i was out like a light like what people don't realize is, is when you take the epitomin, it's going to make you very tired, which is why anytime you watch a video and reviews on it, they tell you don't take it unless you have like two days off of work, two days off that you could just chill out and relax. I'm telling you, you're going to be tired, you're going to be extremely hungry, and you're going to be exhausted. Like you're going to feel like you're on your period just times like seven and none of that gross stuff, you know, but eh all that um so i would i was only taking it twice a day at 10 milliliters you're supposed to take it like 25 to 30 minutes before you eat so it can kind of just like settle in your system and in your stomach but i'll usually i'll just go cook and then i'll eat and then i try not to eat until i'm full because like what is it like your mind doesn't know you're full before your stomach does or something like that it's like you don't know you're full when you're really full so if you eat before you get full, then you're technically eating enough for you to be full, if that makes any sense. So, let me tell you how this went. I gained like five, four or five pounds in like my first couple of days. I didn't even hit a week yet. And I was like, oh my, oh my goodness. Like this stuff, it was really working. It was really working. I had just came home from um, school. I had moved off of campus in December and I had started it in January. So I had just came home from school um, and I wasn't going back to live on campus. So I was just home. I was like, home, you know, you be cooking, there be food in the house and all that. So I was just home and I was eating. And that's just really just what it was. But there's a downfall to Epidemon. Downfall to Epidemon is that yes, it'll make you gain weight, but you don't really get to tell your body where you want your weight to go. So I was gaining weight everywhere, which I wanted weight everywhere except for like my stomach area. Like my stomach, I be trying to work on it sometimes because sometimes I be having good days and sometimes I have really bad days. Everybody wants, you know, slim, thick body and you know, the booty and all that. I have a, I have a really weird thing with my shoulders. Like I don't like my shoulders to be out. Because I was just so skinny. I was like, I just feel like real bony and real skinny. After I gained about, let's see. After I put on like 30 pounds, I started when I was at like 98. Once I got to like 127, I was like, okay, now what? Like I done got 95% of my body where I went it. Now I have to work on my stomach. That is fair. The waist trainers come in. My mom tries telling me, "You don't know if you want to be thick or if you want to be skinny." I was like, "No, I just want to be somewhere in between. That's all, you know." But 
my stomach, fat booty, you know, average and even everywhere else. That's just, that's, that is what I want. So in order for me to get that, I have to do some extra things. So I went on like a very, very, very strict low carb diet for two weeks straight. And when I tell you, I saw better results with that than working out, I'm like, I'm dead serious. So I did two weeks of that, super like low carbs. I'll probably do a video later on because some people ask me on Instagram, like, what do you eat? How do you keep your weight on? Like, what do you do? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know, I'm gonna let y'all know. I'll probably do a little video and I'll make a smoothie every morning too, girl. Gotta ask about me. Um. So after that, I was like, okay, I need to get back on my waist trainer. I use three different waist trainers. I my first waist trainer was from Sheen. I was just I was just being cheap and stupid. And it actually I saw some let me stand up. I was seeing results here, but I wasn't seeing too many results here. And what was happening was it wasn't the waist trainer that comes like all the way up here and then all the way down. It was that one that just wrapped around. So I was seeing kind of results in this area, but then I was trying to get a little fupa. A little, a little, I can't have no fupa. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden, the ones that I wanted, I got sold out no more. It's this one, let me show you. All right, so this is, this is my waist trainer, right? This is the one I got it from She's, She's Wasted. I think it's called, so let me tell you what I do. So, okay, we're gonna be the day. I got it on yesterday. Ugh. Okay, so it goes on like that. Then it's the two straps. If I can find the other one, it's nice. You can find the other one. Okay, I can move y'all back so y'all can see. So, I love this because it covers everything, like everything from the bottom of my boobs to the top of my head. It's right here. If you're gonna get a waist trainer, you gotta get one that sucks in everything and covers everything. Like this is a small, it used to be really kind of difficult for me to put it on. Like I used to have to get help. Now it's just. I mean, it didn't look kind of that easy, as easy. It didn't look as easy as it usually do. Like, because I'm on camera and I'm, mm, I'm not used to this no more, but this is really just what it is. I watched a couple of like waist trainer videos or whatever, and, oh, I lost my train of thought. I didn't, I didn't know what I was about to say. I watched a couple of YouTubers talk about like their waist training and how they got the body that they wanted with only wearing a waist trainer and not working out. So they say that you should wear your waist trainer for like six to eight hours for 30 days. After the 30 days, you can wear it for like three, four days a week. I don't really do that, <laughs> okay? Let me show you what I, do, what I do. I wear my waist trainer at work for about seven to eight hours a day, five days a week, I work five days a week. And then I have two resting days. So the days that I'm not working, I don't wear my waist trainer because I find that when I'm sitting, if I'm not working, that means that I'm probably driving somewhere or I'm just like chilling at home or I'm sitting here making a YouTube video, but I'm sitting down, like I'm sitting right now. When I'm sitting with my waist trainer, I am highly uncomfortable. I feel like I can't move. I feel like I can't breathe. I just, I have to always be moving around. If I stay still too much while I have my waist trainer on for some reason, my body's just like, no girl you gotta move you gotta get together okay when you go on a pediment and you gain on your weight and then you go to tone out your body you're going to lose weight because you're toning your body like the weight in my stomach i'm losing it so i'm not always going to be 127 pounds i have gotten down to 122 pounds now so i've lost about five pounds 
as I've been waist training when I, I when I started my low carb diet like all this ties into each other so started my strict low carb diet I started waist training effectively and over and over again after my third bottle with a I kind of stopped I'm not gonna hold you I did start up again recently but that's just because like I don't take it three times a day like I don't even take a full thing I think I take about five milliliters every couple of days on the days that I feel like uh, I should be hungry but I'm not and I'm losing the weight in my stomach but I need to make sure that I'm keeping the weight everywhere else so as I'm toning out my stomach I need to make sure that I'm still eating my meals throughout the day so I can maintain my weight it's all like you can't just take a pita and think oh that said i'm cool because if you have a fast metabolism like i do once that appeatment is like out of your system and it wears off your body's going to try to go back to where it was before so you have to train your body and train your mind i train my body and i train my mind every day it's a whole process like i mean for me if you can just take a vitamin and your weight just magically just goes everywhere but the parts that you don't want it to go, congratulations. I really wish that I was built like you. I feel like I touched on pretty much everything that I, like I'm still in my journey, I'm still in my process, but I look good though. Hold on, I just have to show y'all. I just have to show y'all like my, my butt. Let's pull down the camera real quick so we can really see the body. Okay, let's move this. Let's really see the body. Hey, little booty's matter. Sarah. What? Shake your butt. Little oh, booty's matter. Happy Fourth of July. Get it. 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 I won't get too like. Hmm. No. Cause my mama be watching my videos. My granny. You guys, my videos too, is so I can't sit here and just, I really show y'all, like, you know, I gotta be respectful of my audience. But that's pretty much it, guys. Like, that's really my epitome journey. I gained about 30 pounds in three months. It's the best decision I've ever made. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come back next week because there's a new video every Thursday, boo. So, set a reminder, okay? Turn on my notifications. And I'll see you here next week. Bye.